Hi there, signs of Leo. This is Kim here to, with your reading. This reading is going to be your next 48 hours. I have already shuffled this a whole lot, but um, I will keep on shuffling it as we get through the intro. So thanks for joining me. Please hit like and subscribe if you do like it. Um, I am pulling today from the everyday. I think it's like the everyday life tarot or something like that. It's something like that. It is in the description. It's something like that. <laughs> anyway, and it's going to be a Celtic cross. We're going to get general messages for the sign of Leo next 48 hours to help them. Um, to always help them with the highest timeline possible. All right. Oh, my God. No. No. Why? Okay, I don't always see this as bad. It could just be abrupt. It could be an abrupt change of some sort. All right. Let's go ahead and pull. Three of Wands reverse. Ten of Cups is good. Your challenge. Two of Swords. <laughs> Not wanting to deal with something. Ten of Wands in the reverse in the past. And the Nine of Coins in the now moment. That's delicious. And the Emperor in the reverse for future energy. You are feeling justice. The truth. Two of Cups in the reverse for the situation. Page of Swords in the reverse for the hopes or fears. And the High Priestess in the reverse. Whew, okay, and then the tower on the bottom, my God. <laughs> so, there is a surprise. A surprise, something, something that you can't avoid. Hmm. All right. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this for Leos. Let's see what we get. The three of wands is a surprise because it's in the reverse. Or you could be like um, waiting on somebody to return from a trip. It could be something like that. Um, please clarify the three of wands in the reverse. It's the four of wands. It's a milestone met. It's an achievement that you didn't realize you were going to... Um, get and and you're pleasantly surprised in fact it's that old adage love first everything else will follow um this is falling in line with your soul purpose with your soul mission ten of cups ultimate happiness the rainbow in the card um there's definitely more light to come they're celebrating what looks like a very nice Nice home, decorated nice, kids, ten of cups, everything. If there was a storm, it's gone now and there's a rainbow. And this is a surprise. I feel like a, so like a surprise. I want to say beginning, not ending. And it is a big change. And that's the tower. There's just something that's going to be done a different way here. It, it, it Sometimes with the tower, I get the feeling that it's talking about build, building, like your tower, building your, um, oh, you can't even see that. Like building your, there we go. Oops. <laughs> here, I'm going to put this one over here because building your own tower building your own uh maybe like family legacy family business something like that um there is something we've been postponing i don't know maybe it's taxes maybe it's something like that because we have this little sprite you know we have him in the card um there's they're in all of these but this one is a particularly evil looking one <laughs> Trying to make you postpone something. Trying to encourage procrastination. Um, the flies. You could be being spied upon. <laughs> There's the two X's. It's like, no, don't want to deal with it. Don't want to deal with it. All right. We might have to deal with this. <laughs> Clarify the um, two of swords, please. Two of blades. And two people arguing behind her. 
Page of Pentacles and the Sun. Okay, so this is like, this is um, something being illuminated regarding messages about money or how money needs to be managed. Perhaps this is about managing money. You're on a new adventure regarding how the money is being handled or how you're investing here. Um, that's kind of what I see. And that that's like at the heart of the matter. So you've got the sun. That's your energy. Page of Pentacles could be a child, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. It is a new beginning. It pushes you past a stalemate. If you thought that you couldn't go forward, you're going to be able to proceed. The Ten of Wands in the reverse is normally, you know, here's, I like this picture. This is her with the Ten of Wands normal, right? So Ten of Wands in the reverse is um, something's helping you if you're like very stressed out. Something is assisting you to not be as stressed. What's the Ten of Wands about, Spirit? What's the Ten of Wands about? Some of the conflict was removed in your life. Maybe you know about this. Maybe you don't know about this yet. There was an, it feels like there was an obstacle or roadblock um, that was removed. Something that you no longer feel conflicted over. Nine of coins is the now moment. And it's, you know, I'm feeling like it's the tower and the nine of coins. Like, so it is good. It's really good. It's money. And you feel like this is fair and balanced. Honestly, like you're going to get your truth in this. And you also feel like um, so this could be financial windfall, um, inheritance, a winning. The bees here could be sweet results with good work. You know what I mean? Putting in the work. There's a little white cat. Just notice that white cat. So financial windfall. It's really great. This could be entrepreneurship too. Why is the emperor in reverse? Some of you can have an emperor figure who's just not present or who's leaving. Um, it could be an Aries energy or the patriarch of the family, the grandpa of the family. There may be an old way of doing things like contracts moving maybe not even moving forward maybe it was um more pushing yourself forward or with force with this person let me let me get um some more cards for this emperor in reverse why is the emperor in reverse because it feels like we're not going to do something for fear of there you go we're not moving for fear of judgment here in something maybe it has to do with this justice but i feel like you are getting your own um sweet truth here it's it's good like you're getting rewarded here somehow but this could be a possible block for you all for leos if you um one stop being so critical of yourself remember um you could be thinking about giving somebody a second chance somebody could be apologizing to you that's this emperor energy um there could be an announcement that this emperor energy, you know, the person who's in charge, like boss or something like that, is going to be changed or switched. And that could be a surprise promotion for you with the um, four of wands there, too. Let's get some clarifying for um, justice here. For Leo, justice for Leo. The Eight of Cups. You're feeling kind of emotion. I think this is about being emotionally detached uh, from something that had to be balanced. Balanced. Finding balance. What's that Eight of Cups about? I feel like this is walking away from one. Walking away from one situation and going back. Okay. Woo. <laughs> you have the message of emotionally detaching yourself, but one also of not leaving an old way of thinking. So, like, you're ready to move into a new energy here, but 
you still got to work on um, changing the way your thinking is, the way your thinking patterns are um, fair. Remember fair and balanced and put in the effort that you're wanting to see out. I don't think you're going to leave even if it's a hard time, even if there's um, a storm coming. I think you are able to emotionally detach. Perhaps this emotional detachment sometimes leads to procrastination or postponement. Um, the two cups in the reverse is the, your your situation in the environment. That's, you know, usually like two people, um, well, sometimes not working out. But let me see. Okay, well, the challenge is to get this to work. So I, I don't think that this is in reverse for all of you. I, I really don't. Some of you um, are aligned with yourself, the king of wands here. Some of you are needing more alignment with yourself. And then the two of cups, I think it's regular too. If it's, I think it's upright for some, which is um, good, harmonious uh, relationships. Then I have the page of swords or page of blades in the reverse. So discovering new things. And being willing to take in new information and new ways of doing stuff, discovering things, okay? In the reverse, there's a need to do some more research instead of postponing or instead of putting something off or thinking that something might be too much, so we're not even going to attempt it. Try to um, do your research first. It may... Look at that. There's the Two of Cups again. So it is 50-50. There's the Two of Cups coming out. Yeah. On a partnership. Maybe you need more information regarding a partnership that you might feel like working with or working at. Everything looks good. Everything looks good here. Your Ten of Cups here, the challenge, is going to be to move past this, which is forgiveness for yourself and others. It's the... Um, you know, showing yourself love and self-compassion. What is the high priestess up there about? Why is she in reverse? Listening to your gut when it comes to your work is going to be crucial. Talk less, feel more. Listen, listen to yourself a little bit more. I think the message is that you need to have more trust and more faith in your work process. In the way that you get um, messages, that you receive messages. What else with the high priestess? <laughs> high priestess upright. Yeah. Yeah, they're saying to trust yourself a little bit more. Trust yourself a little bit more. You ha hold these answers. Look, this reading is this and that. I'm getting the message that there's this and there's that. There's a little bit of detachment. There's a lot of attachment. There's a little bit of... Um, <laughs> mile markers being hit here and advancement and leveling up it's gonna surprise you the tower energy let's try to get a clarifying card for the tower okay all right doing something by yourself here but i'm telling you these decisions are good you have the lovers upright and, and this is like an achievement that you did all by yourself and I think that's pretty much what this is even talking about. Um, and I think the tower is representative of a big achievement that you are um, achieving. So, guys, let's get um, let's get one of these little angel number messages. I thought your messages were really good. Piscean energy. Um, I mean, it's your ten of cups. You just need to listen to yourself a little bit more. Your intuition is on point. It might be scary, scary accurate, Leos. Uh, 33, any positive changes or projects you're considering right now will be well worth your while. Expect your power to manifest and create will be heightened. I am expanding. And 30, I'm imaginative. You are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I am imaginative. And I think this goes with this, the, the money, either the way of making money or, you know, sun is shining light and divine guidance on how something that you're doing that's pioneering here. 
19. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and work and aren't afraid to take the big risk to achieve the life you desire. Okay, and I'm going to close with this card. Sacred Spirit Oracle. Okay, we have three. Ooh. Ooh. That's exciting. Between worlds, new directions. Do you see how this enlightened turtle here? Nice. Okay, 11, dark night of the soul. Ooh. Life brings new meaning. And 10, cosmic ancestors, voice your concerns. Let's go ahead and, and look this one up for you. Number five, between worlds. We know what dark night of the soul is. Um, you know, that's just something we go through after we come to an awakening or understanding of things that we didn't even realize were happening. And when we become super aware of everything, we shine our light on it. It does dissolve the fear, but sometimes we have to move through it, though. Um, and that's the moving through it. Wow, it went straight to it. You are between worlds. This is a life transition, and you're going to go on to new directions. This is about your finances, too. It says finance management, mm -hmm. home and protection. They're the bridge between heaven and earth, the guiding spirit that supports the world and its people. Nice. The turtle represents the patience of life and waiting for the right time. You are encouraged not to wait too long. Right now, you may feel energetically blocked, physically stagnated, or feeling stuck, or in between decisions that could lead you to the left or the right. Being at the right place at the right time is essential for the turtle. Be patient, but assertive. A new change in career path, living arrangements, or residential location are more possible now. Your home is your sanctuary. Ensure a physically clean and decluttered atmosphere for relaxation and wellness. Okay. Travel and long journeys are favorable now, including physical and spiritual quest. Go with the flow and enjoy the journey and the process of life. I trust in the flow of life. I am safe and protected in my soul's sacred journey. Nice. Ten cosmic ancestors are here. Um, learn from those who have walked before you and voice your concerns. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Right now, you must learn from those who have walked before you. Those who have already shown a light on injustices require you to evolve and awaken in a passionate as a passionate contributor. Now is the time to stand up and be counted. I continuously evolve with conscious action. And I'm going to say conscious um, and um, deliberate, deliberate actions. Number 11, the dark night of the soul. It says life brings new meaning now. It's always darkest before the dawn and know that you'll be emerging with a new lease on life and a greater understanding of who you are as an, an, as an individual. I'm sorry you can't talk today, guys. You must face hidden memories, concerns, or stories that are lying beneath the surface if you wish to emerge enlightened, forever transformed by your experience. Stop and surrender to the universe. Accepting change says, I accept and create positive actions through the cycle of change. This is all talking about the actions. Um, so, yeah. Something that we're deciding. All right. So, you love and light. That is your bonus reading, Rios. Bye.